Progreso, gracias a la misericordia. Good morning, everybody. This is Sancita Brujo Luis. I'm sitting here enjoying a cup of coffee, and uh, it's kind of a little too cold to sit outside and meditate, so I got the window shades open, and I'm looking out the window, and I'm thinking about, you know, stories and, and, and stuff that I would like to share. So I said, you know what, let me, I've never done a video of me telling stories, simple stories. These are stories that I heard when I was little in Puerto Rico. And the first one that I'm going to tell you is titled uh, La Bruja y el Padre or La Bruja y el Cura, which in English in English translates to the witch and the priest. Okay, and the second one is El Hombre y el Diablo, the man and the devil. Now in my version of the first story, La Bruja y el, el Padre, el Cura, uh, she's Puerto Rican, you know, Boricua, of course, I'm Puerto Rican, but I'm sure in Mexico, she's Mexican, in Colombia, she's Colombiana, in Venezuela, she's Venezuelana, whatever it may be, in my version, ella Boricua, she's Puerto Rican, okay? So take a sip of your coffee, and I'm going to tell you a couple, two stories at least to start off the day, you know, I've never done this, so if you enjoy this, let me know, all right? So the first one is La Bruja y el no, la bruja y el cura. Um, there was this old bruja. And she lived in a barrio in Puerto Rico. Uh, you know, a little barrio, but she lived separate from the town. She lived separate from the village. And every Sunday, la bruja would go to church. But she would not go into the church until la misa, the mass was over, and the congregation was out. So every Sunday, after the misa, and all the congregation was gone, she would go into uh, La Iglesia, the church, and she would go in front of the altar and she would bless herself and then she would go to a statue of San Miguel and there she would light a red candle and a black candle. Okay, now she did this every Sunday. Every Sunday, right after Misa, when the congregation was gone, uh, she would do this. And the Padre, el cura, who would uh, clean up after La Misa, he was noticing this and so he'd see her do this every week and his curiosity was like killing him. He's like, you know, why does she do this, you know? Why does she come uh, when the congregation's gone and why does she always go to San Miguel, St. Michael, and why does she light a candle to, you know, a red and a black candle? His curiosity killed him, lo mato, okay? So one day he built up enough courage to go to the Senora, to the old lady, and he said, Senora, you know, I noticed that every Sunday after La Misa, you come, when the congregation is gone, you come, you bless yourself in front of the altar, then you go to that statue of San Miguel and you light a red candle and a black candle. Why do you do that? So La Brujita, the old lady, looked at El Padre, El Cura, the father, the preacher, priest, um, and she said, Padre, I'm an old woman. Yo soy una viejita ya. I've lived many years, you know, more than I can count, okay? And in that time, I have been a good person and I've been a bad person. When I'm very good, I'm very good. But when I'm very bad, I'm very bad. So I'm almost ready to die. So I light a red candle to San Miguel and a black candle to El Diablo because when I die, I want to make sure I have friends in both places because I don't know where I'm going to go. Okay, so that's uh, just a simple story that we say in Puerto Rico. Another one, I hope you liked it. <laughs> Another one that we say is, um, there was this old man and he was in a desert and uh, he was hungry, really, really hungry and really thirsty. He was there for three days and each day, I mean, the sun would, was just really hot on this poor man and he would pray every day, Padre en el cielo, Please send me food to eat and please send me water to quench this thirst because I'm thirsty and I'm dying of thirst. Nothing. No answer. So he kept going through the desert, kept going through the desert, every day hungry, every day the heat of the sun hit his skin and the thirst was so strong. Until the third day when he was just so weak and so tired, he just couldn't. He mustered the last energy that he had in his breath and he looked up towards the heavens and he said, Padre, Dios Padre, por favor, God, please send me food to fill my stomach and water to quench my thirst. All of a sudden, el diablo, the devil came up and he said, I'll give you food and I'll give you water to quench your thirst. And there in front 
was a table full of the best food you can imagine. Arroz con gandule, pastele, pernil, de todo, okay? At least in Puerto Rican. In your version, chicken pot pie. Uh, you know, so, oh, and, and then right there, there was ron, bacali, eh, agua, mavi, the best drinks in the world. The guy started eating like crazy. And he was like, drinking, 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 drinking. And he filled his stomach up. And he quenched his thirst to the best of his ability. And after he had finished doing that, he looked up towards the heaven and he raised his hands and he said, Dios Padre, gracias por mandar el diablo. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for sending the devil, el diablo, to bring me this beautiful food to eat and this uh, liquid to quench my thirst. Because remember, all, whether it's good or evil, right or wrong, is under the power of God. This is Sancista Brujo Luis. I hope you enjoyed the stories. Uh, sorry I'm not shaved. They look like a hot mess. If you like the stories, let me know and I'll do future uh, videos on them. All right? Santo Sanse, much love. Please leave a comment down below. Sancista Brujo Luis.